All right, guys. Today we have unknown text, and I've already heard some of the music. Thankfully, it went off because it was <laughs> something special. It's supposed to be like a little horror game. I don't really understand how it's played. I read the instructions. It seems like you're supposed to look down for exactly two seconds. I don't know how you time that exactly, but we'll give it our best shot. Up to look up. Okay. Hello. Don't be alarmed. Someone is outside watching you. Every time you hear breathing, look up. You can only look up for two seconds to keep your sanity, but you must look down in exactly two seconds. If you don't, press E to close. Oh, God. How am I supposed to time it two seconds? When it's breathing? What kind of breathing? Hello. Okay, it's the same thing. Do I look up? I don't hear anything. I said wait for breathing, though. You hear breathing? I don't hear breathing. I don't hear anything. Ah! Oh, that scared the hell of me. You win. He was not going to appear at the window. I heckin' got you. What was on the wall? Was that like a fucking drawing of a dick? He did get me though. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Damn. That scared the crap out of me, dude. <laughs> that gave me a damn heart attack. <laughs> he said, "Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't find any like any, like good games tonight. That was kind of funny though. I'll keep that one. I like that. Let's see if we can find like a good game though. I haven't found like a good HIO game tonight. Juggles. I was waiting for some breathing, but it never came. So I was like, fuck it, I'll look up. And I got got. What's this?" What is this? This seems interesting. Uh, shift key to enjoy. Uh, let's read this. Find your soul to the mortal flesh of the astral vermin. The sewers are calling. They've spoken your name in hush whispers through the countless interweaving pipes, echoing your most menial of actions in the bubbling sludge pools of squirreled away below a thousand floorboards. They've sought you since long before the point you've tilted birth. You've tied your tight you've titled birth. Whatever. Fill your mind to the sewers, fracture reason, and venture into darkness. Mingle with the most ghastly of the pitiful mutated gutter folk. Unearth the their sickly soft spoken secrets. The sewers beckon. Come forth and witness their splendor. Bodily functions control your newly inhabited meat husk. Arrow keys to move, enter to interact, shift key to enjoy the pleasant sensation of your keyboard's plastic against your skin. List of credits, head sleep. Let's try it. He's gonna put that much work into the description. We'll give it a try. It's like a 6.9 megabyte game, so I'm probably gonna get screamed at again. Ah! He said, that's what that man said. He said, ah! Oh, he got me though. He did get me. I was like, what do I do? I don't hear breathing. Alright. This game just sounds gross. I don't even know if this is playable. Like, such a small game. Let's see. Alright. Alright. Oh, that's me. I'm a little block, I guess. Lost, are you? Yes. Yes, I am. I once lost myself too. I've come to embrace this persistent hopelessness. The fading glimmers of recollection that hover at the edge of my sanity, ever eluding my mortal grasp. I am but a sentient husk filled with perpetual conf confusion. The feeling of familiarity constantly flickering, I'm toying with my fractured mind as it slips once more into the void. You seem familiar. A memory of a dream, perhaps? And it, this guy uses huge words. An ill-fated past encounter from another reality in which both of our forms were present. 
Is this but a trickle, a passing glimpse of momentary subconscious retention? Suit is this intelligent. Whoever made this game, I, I cannot recall. Welcome to the sewage plant, the tragic remnants of a dream. A spiritless processing complex flooded with ill-fated beings such as yourself. Here we linger, tethered to this decaying facility, adrift in the endless void be between reason. Oh, we're back at Lost, are you? Okay, we're done talking to him. He ran out of things to say. Ah, now I can go down further and learn more. Knowledge, education, the fundamental skills, the grand mysteries, the secret, secret of joys. I'll linger in the tattered pages of these moth-bitten, human-leather-bound books. I have poured countless hours into my studies. I am wise beyond belief. I believe it. Worship me as you do your deities. I and I alone know how this place functions. I have unraveled the mysteries of these foul sewage pipes. I have found bliss in understanding beyond reason. I shall teach none. These secrets are mine. This knowledge shall wither and die with me. I shall be the last of the educated few. This guy's a dick. The great reader of the sewage plant. The high priest of books. Unchallenged. Less than other read these tomes. Honestly, though, who here would have time for that? Our patience has dwindled. Our attention but a husk. Gradual. The decay of knowledge. Our wisdom's great of wisdom's great powers. Slowly slapped through countless hours of screen staring boredom. These cellular devices, the harbinger of our gradual demise, the silence succumbing to mass stupidity. This guy, this is actually pretty interesting. I like this. This is neat. It's like a social commentary kind of game about the world. And how do I go down? There we go, shift. Hello, friend. Twist, contort, spiral, weave your way through the metallic piping that endlessly coils these accursed planes. Warp, bend, snap, and tear. How pitiful, how hopeless, how tragic. Woeful is the form that which struggles to squeeze into the brittle ducts that line these damp fungus scattered walls. These hands bleed as I push them into the piping, bones splintering and veins gushing dark fluid. That's gross. Add to the uncaring flooring of this complex, crouch, squeeze, burst, and rend. I will smash my head against these iron siphons, blistering my brain matter, corroding my broken memories evermore as I attempt to become one of these with these pipes. I stand here, a fractured mortal, seeking an unattainable joy. The bliss of molding this flesh form with the sewer works. That's kind of interesting. Oh. It's weird. It's like Shakespearean almost. What's up, fam? No matter how much sludge I consume, nothing can fill the void that lingers in my putrid heart. I am but a swine being, nightmares of the vast sewers, flesh-bound myrtle of this realm. Here I dwell, observer of the sludge core, whittling away my days with the pitiful consumption of pipeline ooze secretions and waking nightmares of the vast sewers. How I long for meaning in these lonesome walls, the drab sewage complex in which my form sluggishly exists. The heart yearns for adventure, for passion and love, for the warm embrace of, of acceptance, the kind of touch and the fleeting sensation of happiness, touch of joy. Yet all I can muster are these words, all I can put my limbs to is the consumption of bland sewage matter. How cruel this bewildering stationary life. Are we back at the top? What's up, fam? Tread carefully, for these are poison glades. Witness the toxic beauty of the blood flower, the cruel glare of the glory, 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 gloriosa, gloriosa lily, the bitter lick of the scotch broom. That word killed me. There is such grace in the simplicity of death. These plants. Blooms and fungi are but the harbingers of non-existence, sweet embrace. To live close to such marvelous creature is no bliss, ever present the option for escape. My tongue is riddled with poison sores, 
for I, much to my sorrow, have been cur cursed with form still clings to this life. I could toil over these venomous cocktails of my own creation for a millennia or more, and still these septic sores would not take me. Curses, how cruel this life! Lethal is but a joke to my mortal husk. I am impervious. I am unbreakable. I am the wretched garden dweller, hidden behind the intricate piping of this savage sewage plantation. I seek release, yet all I find is perpetual, perpetual pain. Interesting. That got dark real quick. I thought he was having a good time in his little garden, but I guess not. Oh, there's two people here. What's up, friend? Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Dot, 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 back. Listen closely, because I'm going to only going to twist for this. Ahem. Yeah. I'll tell my cousin over there, but I don't actually believe in any of this nonsense. Truth be told, I'm more of an ag agnostic. I've never really been one of for sludge deities and whatnot. I mean, the robes here are silky, rather expensive, and feel as though you're tightly wrapped in a black blanket, made entirely of angel feathers, scattered with delicate hugs, making each comfortable moment more joyous than the last. I mean, honestly, you could study textiles and fashion design for a millennium and still not produce something this comfortable. Why? Aren't there standard, these standard issues to everyone? Standard issue to everyone. I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that these would be a global phenomenon if more people knew of the fabric-based splendors. It is no lo less than a tragedy that only my cousin and I get to experience these. You know, I've even thought of selling these myself between the chapel maintenance and screaming into the void hoping for the ancestral sewage specters to arise from their grand slumber. There's little time for anything else. These robes, ah, so snugly, so warm and gentle. What about you? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, he doesn't talk to me. Listen closely. I already talked to you, dude. Okay, I go down now? Okay, I got it. Oh, God! Sorry. Ho ho ho! Are you yet to embrace the grandeur of the ever oozing sludge deity? Open yourself, body and soul, to the silent, irresistible calling infinite pipeline. Whistle as though sewage air through the endless iron labyrinth before you. Join us in prayer as we traverse the vast sewers of life, the sludge riddled mass of not mess of existence in the pursuit. Of the voids, brains, joyous, slime-strewn embrace. Life as we know it is immersed, screaming from the primordial ooze. Our entire being, the timeline of thought, reason, intentional movement, all the guttural rush of wastage flushed and gushing. Towards of living, breathing beings through the winding pipeline of the sewers of non-existence. We faithful few are the lifeblood of the system, the antifreeze chemical slew that keeps the perpetual sewage ever surging, for surging forth. Join us! Become the bleached, infused, velvet robe clad guardian of the glorious putrid wastage works. Hell nah! Hell nah! To the nah nah nah! <laughs> oh, uh, what a. And, and no would have been sufficient. You are cruel behind words. Please just leave. All right, I'll see you later, man. What if I said yes? Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. I'm gorge, Billy news There are sacred foundations of our order. Which of the fundamental cores are true to your being? I'm uh, Bleach news Inhale deeply. Breathe the sewage slew. Draw every chemical breath from the waste. Fill your buckets with bleach and ooze forth. Grow the grime of the non-believers. Fill every wrecking thought with the essence of bleach. Let it strangle each nerve ending and twine their very beings. You are the warden of these sewers, withered treatment lord of the untouched piping. Boys, bleach, burden, sacred omen spewer. Let's see what the other one was.
ho, ho. Wise choice, rodent wanderer. May grunge fill your pores and slime guide your vision. Seep forth into the waterway of life and spread your slime strewn message to the edge of this universe. Push beyond and preach further than any pitiful mortal creature of this existence. Okay. Oh, I don't, I'm not trying to talk to you, dude. I'm trying to go down. It won't let me. Is this the end? No, it's gotta. There's gotta be something. Maybe I need to talk to this dude. Maybe it glitched. Won't let me go. Oh, there we go. Yay, we made it. Alright, what's up? Come forth, mortal. Closer, closer. The pit has been waiting for your arrival. Let your being seep into the sewer works. Oh, I miss it. Gunge ooze seeping through this labyrinth of iron piping. Which is your answer? Ignore it. P please don't leave this wretched place. The pit will await your return. Come forth, mortal. Closer, closer. The pit has been awaiting your arrival. Let your being seep into the sewer works. Lose yourself to the sludge. Fuse your crumbling soul with the decaying gunge ooze seeping through the labyrinth of iron piping. I was plunged at first into the pit. Whoa, where are we now? I'm becoming more than a pink block. I'm becoming a slime god. It's my time. Yes, yes, do it to me. Drown, drown, drown in the sewage. Gargling wastewater, oesophagus ruptured, lungs burst. Muddy veins filled with fetus sludge. Greetings, mortal, another broken soul, form shattered, eternally ensnared in the way of above non existence. Fill the void calling, the internal chasm between life and the darkness, surging through the endless spaces, lingering on the edges of scenes of sentence. How cursed one is to linger, to dwell in this dark void infinitely, gradually losing oneself as time slowly. Meaningless, meaninglessly and painfully seeps ever by souls amass in the darkness screaming in silence as their various essence is pulled from them every re relationship and mo moment lived crumbling as the memory of their brain matter unwinds one cannot stop this one none can escape mortals can only linger eternal in their plight their putrid, self-born suffering, no beings left on their cherished worlds, no minds spasming in the recollection of the lost. Go now, suffer as they have, watch in terror as your existence dwindles, your very being decays, observe as the void consumes you. Is that the end? And we're back to the top. Alright, that was kind of cool, I guess. Let me see if anything changed. Let me talk to him. Nope, that's it. Hi guys, that was kind of weird, but it had a lot of big words, and it was kind of like, it was pretty neat. I like that. I think it was kind of dope. It was strange and confusing, but it's like some kind of like sewer cult, and there's like some weird people living in the sewer talking about weird stuff. I don't quite get it, but it's kind of, I, I enjoyed it. Like, a lot of big words and a lot of uh, commentary about like how technology is taking over and people read books but don't spread i don't know i don't know i'm not going to do an analysis of this i don't understand it shit <laughs> you're gonna need somebody smarter than me but uh all right guys thanks for watching as always i hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your night if you like videos like these please like and subscribe bye